and and summer has arrived. It's the 1st of June 2013. There's a Welsh flag in the distance. There's a slight breeze. This is Bedwas Park and it's coming up to 10 to 7 in the morning, British summer time. I'm off to Cardiff. Yeah, in search of tiny rebel and Belgian brews. This is the best time of the day. And the Myrtle train. High quality 1970s technology. And they're reinstating this platform. That way be the bay in Cardiff Central. Apparently there's a beer garden. Hmm. So back to the gatekeeper. Fire Island is down there. Dependent on which site you go to, it's either open at 12 o'clock on a Saturday, 9.30 on a Saturday, or whatever. There's a sign within it says 10 on a Saturday. So quickie in the gatekeeper. I hesitate to call it the glass because it's plastic and the whole of Cardiff is like this today because there's Speedway on tonight. Ah. Anyway, this is Hooky Gold at 4.1% alcohol by volume from the Hook Norton Brothers. They're not brothers. I oh, just call them brothers. Anyway. Well, it looks nice. And there's a hint of citrus in it. And it's a new bottle. I'll give it a B plus. So, Fire Island. And a Welsh flag. And Fire Island. On a match day. Some more plastic glasses. This is the, I don't know, signature brew, beatbox, 4.5% alcohol by volume, uh, made for them by Tiny Rebel, definite A-, minus. hoppy plus, excellent, way forward. And outside you might just see the Millennium Stadium. I'd rather look at the tiny rebel. This is their stout, dirty stop out, 5% by volume from the tiny rebel brewery. And it smells, it smells wonderful. That's burnt chocolatey lingers on the back of the throat. Mm. Smells nice as well. A minus. And in six days' time, and over here in a can. Brewed in Sweden from Brutal Brewing, although it says brewed and bottled, or in this case, canned by Spendrups Gregory AB, trading under the name of Brutal Brewing. Four point six percent alcohol by volume. It's supposed to be hoppy. Hmm, let's be brutally honest, maybe it's too cold, although it 
says to fully chill the can. It is quite hoppy, but it's mainly a bee. And £3.50 at that.